It's very rare that I meet someone that also makes YouTube videos. I think I know about maybe two people that really do. Um, it, but it's a very, very rare thing to come across. And this video really is just to explain why personally I make YouTube videos. And if you're someone that also wants to start making YouTube videos or just content in general, um, what kind of things you want to prepare or like, just kind of like my opinion on, on it all to be honest. Now the reason why I actually make YouTube videos is, I mean I've genuinely, I've always loved the idea of content creation and I love making YouTube videos and when I was a kid, probably about seven, eight years old, I used to go to the cinema a lot with my, um, my uncle would take me and my brother to watch movies all the time in the cinema and you know this was back in I remember I watched Kung Fu Panda on release um, all the kind of kids films and stuff like that I've, I've watched from memory I think I can't remember I probably watched like maybe even hundreds and it the whole experience for me was just so amazing because I always loved going into the cinema and at the end of the movie I'd be so like captured by the film and to be honest I'm that kind of person that even if it's a bad film I would still really like it I don't know why I just I don't know it's just the whole idea of making like just watching movies and, and the kind of plot the storyline all that stuff it's just so um, it's just so good to see and it just made it brought me a lot of joy and yeah, whenever I go to the cinema at the end of the film, I would always feel like the main character. I'd always feel like, like whatever emotion that person had, I would, um, I'd feel like that. And it's a good and bad thing because um, some movies I watched were action films and very empowering. So I remember after watching maybe like Mission Impossible or something. I'd go home and I'd feel like a spy, or I'd feel like I'm in the mi I'm in the movie, for a, a, for the rest of the day. I'd feel like that, the main person. Um, but then there'd be times where I'd watch a bit of a sad film. For example, I remember watching a, a film called Bridge to Terabithia, and in the movie, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but the one of the like the main characters dies, and I felt so sad. I remember feeling so so sad that I was probably I think I was crying in the cinema. It was it was that you know imagine a seven year old just watching that film and yeah it was a sad it was a sad plot to that film but whatever happened I always felt like that emotion that the main character was portraying and then I you know when I was a kid I also then wanted to make my own kind of short films because I was so captivated by cinema so I'd make some kind of short films ten minute long films with my, my brother or if my cousins come down I'd make it with them and I'd show my family, my aunts, uncles, all that but I remember using Windows Movie Player, Movie Maker and it was very bad, it was terrible but you know it brought me a lot of happiness doing that and then um, I remember in 2013 I was about, oh yeah, I was about 13, 14 years old and I wanted to make a YouTube channel, I told my friend, let's make a YouTube channel. We had no idea what we were going to do, but we ended up just talking about like, we made two videos and we ended up just talking about like random stuff like Marvel or whatever at the time, whatever I liked. And then I went through phases of, I didn't really like that YouTube channel, so I made a new one, different niche, different whatever. But it only hit me when after university, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. You know, society was telling me to go one way and family or, or, or other things or even my degree was telling me to go another another way and I didn't I was really stuck I didn't really know what I wanted in my life I just knew what society wanted me to do I also get a good job get married retire whatever die right but I hated that notion I and I still do and then I decided I'm in my 20s I might as well just go all out and you know what the one thing that stuck by me through childhood the one thing that I always relied on and that was like the key theme in my childhood and growing up and in my life in general was the idea of 
making content and making something and watching it, it stemmed from the idea of cinema then it went to YouTube and I just realized you know what this is what I want to do so that's why I made a YouTube channel and, and I stuck by it it's, this is why I make videos now it has evolved through time and I'm and I know and I know for a fact that it will continue to evolve but I guess that's life evolution but I make YouTube videos because I enjoy doing it I enjoy being or sharing my thoughts and when it comes to this YouTube channel I enjoy sharing my thoughts and connecting with people especially people I've never met before but are like-minded and that's why you're here that's why you watch my content and it is a bit nerve-wracking and I know I know a lot of people have come to me and and have said you know like they they want to do the same thing but they're a bit scared to be on camera but I think that's what's good about it because it means not everyone wants to really do it or not everyone can do it because of that fear but honestly the way I see it is that we're all on a a spinning rock going through space at hundreds of thousands if not maybe millions of kilometers an hour or whatever and we're rotating around a, th a sun and we're just talking apes like there is nothing to be scared of in a hundred years time no one's gonna remember you Actually, maybe people will, but, but in about 200 years time, no one's going to remember you. The point is, life is short. Life is short, and if you really want to do something, you can't prevent fear from blocking that. Because if you prevent fear from blocking it, then by the end of your time, you'll only be left with one emotion, and that is the worst emotion in my opinion, which is regret. Feeling regret for me is just... The idea of feeling regret for me just doesn't sit right. And I know, like, sometimes YouTube, making YouTube videos can be cringy. It is. I do agree. Like, I know maybe in about five years' time or, or later down my line, watching these videos back will probably cringe me out because it's a pattern, right? Like, watching my 2013 channel cringed me out. Watching my other channels as I went through life cringed me out. But at the end of the day... That is life. Life is cringe. So, if you really want to do something, just do not let fear ever block you from doing that thing. And that's it. That's genuinely the reason when it comes to um, that I'm scared to, to start and how you can overcome that. But in terms of kind of actual content, honestly, with this, I did a lot of trial and error. You know, I've done... I've made videos on... Like Marvel commentary, very random. I don't really even like Marvel like that anymore. I've made videos on um, games, gaming channels, fitness channel. Like I've done, I've done so many different niches. But re that realistically, the, this is the one that's been most successful because I'm authentic and I'm being real with my speech and with my videos. Like be I barely edit these videos. The video you're watching now is not edited whatsoever. I literally just speak my mind, and I think that's what resonates with people. Now, you don't have to follow this kind of video structure or anything like that, but because there are tons of channels that are successful, but whatever you choose, just make sure you choose something with good intent and authentic authenticity. Anyway, good luck, and uh, I wish you all the best on this.